turn up the heat I'm gonna make my move everyone so i just wanna check in with you today is may 3rd and it is 5 33 we are 17 days away from flying back to the u.s today is friday so i decided to pack because next week is our finals week so i really don't have time to pack so it is best for me to pack now because i have lots of stuff <laughs> As you can see, and honestly, I don't remember how I packed the last time coming here. So I really need my mom right now. Um, I started around 2 p.m. and it's already 5 and I haven't been productive because this is just overwhelming. That is just too overwhelming. I know it's a mess, but it's the nature of packing. So I did my laundry and that laundry are all my blacks my dark clothing make sure that that's washed before i can continue with packing with my winter clothing and hopefully everything will fit and it will not be overweight but the good news is my mom was so smart of course my mom is smart <laughs> anyways my mom was very very smart and advanced so she left me this to me duffel bag that we bought in mr village um before she left and this is a duffel bag an extra large i think or a large size so in case i have excess baggage i can put stuff here but since this is a thin material because it's very lightweight i have to bring this calvin klein winter coat because this is my mom's the most beautiful calvin klein winter jacket that we ever bought or that she ever bought that she ever had because there are inside pockets like literally i went to london and i just shoved in some stuff in my pockets i didn't even bring any bags i just had my winter jacket so it was the nicest investment ever <laughs> dryer coin and you have to buy an interception so I have to transfer my laundry from 6, 5, and 4 to a dryer and dry them up and then it's almost 6 I have to go eat so let's do this alright so for you guys to take note that the UK everything is so small small food portion small parking lot small cars small washers and dryers so that's what you have to keep in mind so I'm going to show you how small it is this is washer number five and it looks so tiny like literally this is the dryer and it's bigger and look it's just took half and i have another third to fill it up and this is from this laundry for this one i am going to use this one it's a little bit bigger and it's a different brand and style so people barely use those it's the same as the first one it's because we don't really know how to use it and it looks complicated so, just for you guys to keep in mind. Let me continue so I can go to dinner. So what I just did is that I balanced out how much is in this dryer to this dryer so that I won't be wasting money and they would evenly dried because if i put too much in here then it's going to be hard to dry because their dryers is not not good drying like some people um dry their clothes for like two hours i'm going to show you guys the steps on how to do this stuff first of course is to put your clothes 
Second is to close the doors. Third is to adjust the temperatures. And then for this one, it is going to be cotton. And no one knows the trick, but you can adjust it and have it extra dry. So it's an hour and two minutes. Here are the coins. Dryer six and five. Dryer five is right here. So you put it in and it turns green. That means that it will like initiate if you can start it. So start. And then six is in here. Where is it? Dryer six is in here. And press the green button. So it's already on. Alrighty. So that's it for now and we're going to head upstairs because we have 8 minutes for me to put pants on and my jacket because it's cold outside. It has been raining and stuff. So this is our gym. So one of the concerns that many people have um, before coming here is how the gym looks like. We didn't really have any pictures of how the gym looks like um, prior to coming here. At least most of us didn't know how it looks like and what equipments we have here. So especially for the football guy, they had a hard time. They had to go to Banbury and actually pay extra like 20 bucks per a month so they had to go and pay and all that stuff just to do their workout routines so that they have to achieve as a football player um and also for other you know fitness guru people now that scared me i don't like the basement really it's scary my sipax is kicking in now that i'm packing one week worth of clothes and packing the rest of my stuff. Ah, oh, spanks.